sister city of Wexford, Ireland. All right. Well, we ask. He said 100%. We can. All right, party people. We're about to get the 2021 trip started. Pops is back. Hello there. We're ready to go. Ready to go. So we're gonna do a Northeast and a Great Lakes. Let's get going. All right, it's Monday. We're gonna try to make it to Delaware to the Biden Center. So we've got about seven hours of driving. Bye, babe. I'm curious on uh, if it's hot or not. I'm reading 100 degrees on this meet off here right now. That's right. We decided to take a little stop in Annapolis, Maryland. So this is one of the uh, Blue Star Memorials. It's just a tribute to the armed forces here. And there's a kind of a good overlook of the, the harbor and the dock out there. But I always like this memorial because of the view. If they had the bushes cut back, it's even better. Usually in the winter time, these bushes are not here, but you can see the, the buildings and everything in the, in the harbor. A lot of traffic through here because we're kind of in rush hour right now. So the wind boy ain't all that bad. Yeah. So there's your state seal and the seventh state in the union. There's the army. There's the, all the armed services uh, memorial right there. So you got the army, air force, navy, U.S. Marines, U.S. Coast Guard. Merchant Marines. A lot of people forget about the Merchant Marines, don't they? Yep. And your Nas uh, National Guard there. So Maryland's the Star Spangled State. Did you know that? No. I didn't either. I mean, I think I've heard it before, but I didn't know that. The Old Line State. Got all kinds of names. What was that memorial up there? Pearl Harbor Survivors Association. Those members of armed forces of the United States who served in Pearl Harbor and other military installations on the island of Oahu during Japanese attacks. Sunday morning, December 7, 1941. This kind of looks like the uh, the World War II memorial at Washington, D.C. Dang, look at the names. Wow. Man, names on all these balls all the way around. Yeah. Well, at least as far as far as you can see over there. But they stopped and got room for more, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe out there it tells us what's on here. I don't know if these are like all deceased or if it's just like everybody that's served in wartime. We'll see. It probably tells us on one of these. What does this say? So this is Pacific Theater. Yeah, I wonder what the... Uh, is the email the better for right. Yeah, it looks like it, because this is W's. And that's Y and Z. And it looks like they added some names to it down there at the bottom, so maybe they were forgotten or something. Let's see if we can make our way down to the, to the docks to the naval docks down there. I don't know if we'll be able to get down there or not, but let's see if we can uh, go down there and check out the boats. We can't get into Academy, I guess, for COVID. They've still got it closed, so. So we're gonna probably leave here, go to the docks, and then after the docks, we're probably just gonna head to Delaware, see what we can find over there. And then hopefully, tomorrow morning, we're gonna get up and drive into Philadelphia and do some Liberty stuff and then maybe even go to uh, maybe to where uh, Washington had his George Washington had his camp up there north maybe I don't know we'll find out when we get there I guess All right, we're down here at the docks. So we just came down Dock Street, paid for the park in there. And we're just gonna just kind of browse around here and see what's going on. 
That's a nice, uh, a nice boat. Got all kinds of restaurants along here. I think I mentioned it before, but we can't actually get into the Naval Academy. Usually you can just, from here, you can just walk right into the Naval Academy. Walk all around, yes. Pretty much walk right through. Monday through Friday. Yes, ma'am. Hello, you'd like to go over to Carroll's Creek. I can take you as far as the chart house. You're fine. Oh, we don't care. Yeah. What's that Carroll Creek? See that green top building over there? This copper top? Oh, yeah. That's part of the Naval Academy. They got some really nice sailboats out here. Huh? They got some really nice sailboats out over there. Just go all the way around. Yeah, we can walk all the way over there, I think. The harbor master right there. Big old Yamaha 300 four stroke on there. Damn. Now we're we'll getting it done. With. Oh, Lord. What do we got here? A mallard duck. Buddy. You're just hanging out, ain't you? Look, they got a duck guard at every one of them. <laughs> one over there, one over there. Yeah, it's thirty dollars per adult. You get a narrated uh, Naval Academy tour. Let's see what we got here in this little. Uh, get a shot of this. Uh, Pops here, styling, profiling for the yachts in the background, Annapolis, Maryland. Looking slick. The docks. Just checking out our future purchase. We're talking about that one over there. Minimal. This. That's a nice. Uh, what do you call those? It's catamaran type sailboats. And that sucker right there is 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 pretty big. That's one like I was riding in the Caribbean. We'll walk over there and see if we can cut over that way. Yeah, that thing's way up there. Look how long that uh, that white one is. Now that's the life right there. Old catamaran sailor. Got your uh, paddle board on the side there. You can take off and just go anytime you want. Got its own freaking shore boat on it too. That's pretty nice. Sister city of Wexford, Ireland. All right. John Berry, naval hero of the American Revolution. That all floats it up. Mm-hmm. Wow. Let's walk down this back road here and see what happens. Look, if we break down, triple A is right there. Uh, let's walk through here and see what happens. Well, Pops, I think we're going to look. They say it's closed, but the gate's open. We got to be back to the vehicle before about 30, 40 minutes from now. <laughs> and also apparently we forgot to bring our ID so we can't get in. So we're just gonna peek around the edge here and see if anybody's doing a drill. Otherwise we'd have to walk our way back to the van. how I remember it. Go in there and check and see what this is. I'll let us in without an ID. They can either just tell me to get out. Yeah. I can't think about it right I, I think you look like a U.S. citizen. Well, we ask. He said 100%. We cannot get in without ID. So. Yeah. Can't blame him. Can't blame him. That guy was super nice. 
He said it was up to him. He let us in, but I mean, I got my ID. He just forgot to bring his ID. And we're like, <laughs> any other day when it ain't 94 degrees, we'd walk back and get it, right? But yeah, if you want to come to the uh, United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland, and you look on their website, they say it's closed, that it's not been updated because it is certainly open to visitors. We just proved it. We just forgot to bring our ID. So come on down to Dock Street and walk into Barry Entrance. It's hot and we ain't gonna walk back with our ID, so we'll just save that for another time. Now we're gonna head on up north, keep heading north. We're gonna try to get as close as Philadelphia as we can, so we'll pick you up when we see something interesting. Right, Pop? Oh, good old Eastern United States rainstorm. We're about going about 45 miles per hour on I-95 here. Rolling down. We are about an hour outside of Delaware. <laughs> All right, party people, we made it to Delaware. Well, here we are in the parking lot of Cabela's at the Christiana Mall. And I got free RV parking out here, so we're going to spend a night right here. We got the van over here. It's fairly level, it's just a little bit pitched up in the front there. So we're going to spend the night here. And then we're gonna make our way over to Philadelphia in the morning. So we will check back in with you in the morning. All right, party people. It's the next day. It's a little bit overcast this morning. It's supposed to be nice at least until the afternoon. So we're gonna go hit up Philadelphia and uh, try to get some parking at Independence Hall and do the Liberty Bell and some of the uh, historic stuff around Philadelphia. So. Stay tuned. Let's go to Philly. Trying to find a parking deck where we can park an eight foot, six inch van. I think there's one in Old Town. One of the Philadelphia self parks. I'm gonna try to get that, but right now, just check out the door. All right, party people, we made it to Philadelphia. Uh, we're in Old Town in the uh, self park Philadelphia and this is the one that has the bus parking so it's got 13 foot clearance so you see a lot of uh, vans and box trucks and big uh, buses down here so we're gonna try to trek over to uh, Independence Hall probably kick around there and do Liberty Bell and then go do some other stuff but we're ready to go ready to go pop ready to go buddy all right do it you think I got close enough? Man, mine. Yeah, check out. I like the uh, insignia on this uh, bus here. We saw a bunch of young guys walking around, so they looked like they were military. United States 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard. That's, uh, hey. That old, that's the, that's the old guard. That's the, the uh, regiment that guards the unknown soldier. Oh yeah, yeah, the old guard. Yeah. 